Hello everybody, YouTuber2 here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching a rather advanced technique of predicting OLL parity. So obviously OLL parity is when a one edge is flipped and there is a really long algorithm to um, flip it. But sometimes it may catch you off guard when you have it. And with this tutorial, you are going to be using the last pair to predict whether you are going to have parity or not. And I'm still not the best at this, but I do know a little bit about it, so um, I'm going to try my best, and I'm just going to kind of go through it. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so this is probably the simplest case that you'll ever get in predicting PLL parity. As you can see, we have everything solved except for the last F2L pair, and then obviously OLL and PLL. But what we're going to be looking at is what I call good and bad edges. So, demonstrating this on a 3x3, three three, um, we are going to be looking at good and bad edges. And when I mean good and bad edges, I mean edges that are going to be flipped up so that yellow is facing are good. So, in this example, there are no good edges because there is no yellow facing the top. And when I mean bad edges, I mean edges that aren't flipped right, meaning that they have the other uh, color on top. So, in this case, we have all bad edges bad edges and I can tell that our last edge for the cross for the top cross is bad because to insert this pair here you would go like that and you'd be lifting this up so this is going to stay with green on top so it's going to be bad as well so we're gonna have all four bad edges in this case so for this case let's take a look at our good and bad edges so I see that we have one good edge here because it's flipped up on yellow we have two bad edges here because they're yellow, but the other, it, other sticker is on top. And here's our last one, and I know this is a good edge because when I put this up to match this pair like that, it's going to come up. So that means we're going to have two good edges and two bad, which means no parity for us. And then continue. This is another case, and let me show you this case on a 3x3 real quick. So this case on a 3x3 three three is when we have to do the sexy move twice. So how we'd solve this is like that. And I'm pretty sure all of you know that. So here is that case again. And let's take a look at our good and bad edges. So we have two good edges here because the yellow is facing up. And we have one bad edge here because it's yellow, but the blue is facing up, which is not yellow. So that means it's not part of our top cross. So we have two good, bad, two good edges here. We have a third good edge here because, as you know, to solve this, the first move is bringing it up. So that means that we're going to have three good edges. And we know that if you have three or one good edges, it's going to be parity. So in the solve, after I do this, I know to go straight into parity. That was pretty bad, but yep. And then, yeah. So we're making things a little bit different with this case here. As you can see, we have one good edge on top because the yellow is facing up. We have two bad edges here because the yellow is not on top. And here's our last one right here. And again, this one, because the first move to solve this pair right here is to go like that, so that's gonna make it bad. So we're gonna have parity and yeah, like that, and then go straight into parity. So that's it for this video. That's how I predict OLL parity. And sometimes this method doesn't work. I know I've been wrong sometimes. But at least it'll give you a good um, look ahead for the next step on most cases. So if this video did help you, please go ahead and click like. If you have a specific case you'd like to see, leave it in the comment. And also answer the question of the video if you want to. And if you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and subscribe to be notified when I make future videos. So thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye.